Mallory here for Digital Trends, and we are here to check out iOS 10 on the iPhone 6S Plus. So we don't have our iPhone 7 in yet, but we're going to play around with iOS 10 on our iPhone 6S Plus. Now we've been using this and the beta version for the past few months, and now it's finally here. As you can see, you can just swipe down from the top here and you'll have all your notifications. You can also swipe over to the side and here you'll find all your widgets. Now widgets have been greatly improved in iOS 10 and they're really nice looking. They're now in these cool light gray bubbles here and you can kind of interact with the bubbles and launch yourself right into your different apps, which is pretty handy. And some of these will even expand a little bit and give you more information. So with the Maps Transit app, it'll go right into Maps for you and it will tell you you know, how your subway lines are running, which is very helpful when there are all those notorious delays on the New York City subway. There's also different apps you can put in here, you know, any app that has a widget, you can add them right here in this section, whether it's checking on your battery life or taking a quick note. Lots of apps come with widgets that you can just add and some of them are more useful than others but there are an awful lot of them out there, so you do have a lot of options when it comes to adding widgets now. So as you can see, I just got a notification, and now they are interactive. So if you just force touch down on this, like you would when you're doing you know, the peek and pop thing with the app icons on your iPhone, you can see an expanded view of the notification. So in this case, it's an email, and we can see the first maybe paragraph or two of the email itself as well as options to archive it, delete it, schedule it, mark it as read. And you can do all of this while you're inside an app. So it makes it very easy to respond to, say, a text message while you're in the middle of reading an article in The Guardian or The New York Times. It's really nice to be able to actually interact with your notifications now in iOS 10 because before in iOS, notifications really weren't all that helpful. But they've become a much, much better in iOS 10. And you can also get rid of all of them at once in the notification bar, which is pretty helpful. Now one of the cooler things that I found is that there is now a dark mode within some of these apps. So if you look into the clock area, you can now see that this is nice and dark, so that way when it's late at night and you're figuring out when you should wake up in the morning, you know, some ungodly hour, your eyes are not going to get burned with the brightness of your phone. And that's actually been quite nice. There's also this new feature called Bedtime. And over here you can adjust and set your bedtime. And this will tell you, you know, how many hours of sleep you'll get based on the alarm wake time that you set and the bedtime that you set. You can get notifications, which will tell you, hey, you should be going to bed now. And uh, you shouldn't be staying up late watching another episode of House of Cards. Go to sleep. So that's actually a pretty helpful feature, even if it makes you feel like you're five years old again. Now, throughout the interface, we've seen a few key changes, which are quite cool. So if you look inside of News, we have this nice new fancy font now, which looks pretty awesome. And it really helps you find better stories, and Apple has curated this a lot more, so that way you can find trending stories or cool topics much, much easier. Perhaps the coolest thing in iOS 10, however, is Messages. So if you go inside the messaging app, there are these new things that you will never have seen before. So next to the text entry area, you will see a little camera icon, a little finger heart icon, and what looks like an app store. So if you tap on the camera one, it will show you all the photos that you've taken recently so that way you can easily share them right in iMessage. And it'll also open up the camera for you so you can take a photo and send it directly in iMessage, which is pretty nifty. But this is one of the cooler ones. When you go into the app icon, you'll see a bunch of different apps that you can use here. So Apple has opened up iMessages to app developers so that way they can add interactions directly within the app. And so you'll have with iTranslate or something like that, you can have a keyboard that automatically translates directly over from English to Spanish. There are also a number of cool stickers like these smiley faces from Apple and you can send these along and often they are animated. So these are really fun things that you can do with your friends and we really quite like them. There's an entire store with all of these so you can get things like Mario which is Apple's new big 
thing that it's super proud that it has. And you can go into the store right in here by clicking that little plus sign. So when you go into the store, you will see a bunch of new apps and things that you can put right into Messenger. So some of these like Open Table will let you reserve a table right in iMessage while you're talking with your friend or get movie tickets with Fandango. You can also play word with Words with Friends right inside of iMessage, which is pretty sweet. And there are all these awesome sticker packs so you can have tons of fun messaging your friends. Obviously some of the Disney and Star Wars ones are gonna cost you, you know, one to two dollars, but it's quite a lot of fun and it makes messaging what it should be, which is interactive and cool. You can manage which apps you want to have in your little app view. And I imagine as this gets more cluttered, you're gonna wanna clear out some of the ones that you don't want in there. However, right now they are really cool. So all you have to do is just tap one and you can send it. Now we found that people who don't have iOS 10 installed can still see these, which is great. Um, but obviously they're a lot more fun when you can both send them together. And you're gonna make all your friends pretty darn jealous if you're sending them Super Mario and they can't do it themselves. So getting iOS 10 on your device is now something that you kind of want to do. There's also some cool Game of Thrones ones in here, which are pretty fun. Now the third thing that you can do in iMessage that's new is this kind of Apple Watch-like experience. So on Apple Watch, there's this thing called Digital Touch, where you can send your heartbeat or a tap to someone. And now you can do this on your iPhone. So you can sketch, you can send a little tap where it'll show a little dot that floats away. You can send a fireball, you can send a kiss, a heartbeat, or a heartbreak. Now these are pretty fun to do, so we're gonna do, that's the tap. So you'd send it like that. This is the kiss, and if you press down, you're gonna get the fireball with your one finger, which is pretty awesome. And the two fingers, you will send your heartbeat. Now if you do the, the two finger tap and pull down, you'll have a heartbreak. And that one's pretty sad, so we don't usually like to do that. You can also draw, and the person you're sending this to will see the animated drawing pop up when you send it to them. There's also kind of a Snapchatty like feature on here where you can take a video or a photo and mark it up and send it right here inside of iMessage as well. So basically iMessage has been completely revamped to be much cooler and much more fun than it ever was before.